Yo, what's going on everyone? Welcome to the channel. My name is Andrew and I own Holy Ground. We are a sneaker shop based in Upland, California. And today we have a few steals. So it's Saturday steals. We got some right here for you. So first one going out, we have some Jordan 4 white Oreos. We have them priced at 330, but today we're gonna price them at 250. Other than that, let's see, we got Cool grays, very, very clean cool grays. We have them listed at 200. Today we're gonna let them go for 130. We also got some Kobe's Sevens, the frog, poison frog darts, super clean. You don't really see Kobe's too much anymore. We have them priced at 150. Today we're gonna let them go for 60 bucks. All right, that's just a few of the steals we have in store. If you guys wanna shop anything, we do have our website. It is www shopholyground.com also check out our instagram at holy ground shop we have everything up listed in the store it's also air max day today so we're going to go ahead hopefully maybe get some fit checks with customers myself sebastian anyone else who comes in the shop so let's go ahead and get straight to it hi my name is daniel i'm here for the kobe's kd7 uh, frogs first time here so come check out the place out yeah, I just came off alone. <laughs> See what Good I think. Pictures at seven in the morning. Uh, I came for Bull C to get the Blue Wave Fours. Uh, my name is Abel. I came for the Game Rail Ones. Hi, my name is William. I came from Ranch Kapumanga and I came to trade in uh, these with the Fives. Coming from Huntington Beach, over here for some Habibi Dunks. Got some trades here, man. Trying to do me good. That's my boy. My boy, watch These familias right here, great price on them. Uh, follow the shop, been coming for a minute. I appreciate the love that they show. Sold some stuff here. I'm um, just paying it forward and buying and uh, picking up copying these dunks here. So appreciate the love. Catch you guys next time. All right, so we just picked up a pair of unions, size 13. These are the Jordan 4 Off Noirs. Uh, super popular shoe. To be honest, like every time we get them in, they pretty much sell out. So size 13, it's a big size, one that we don't get in too too often, but we got it for 620, which is a great deal. So they'll be up on our website. All right guys, so uh, we just wanna give you guys a little sneak peek into a mystery box. But this is the one that we made, so uh, this one's going out to a customer. This is our last one. We didn't really like promote it on YouTube, we did it on our social media, so make sure to follow our Instagram page because that's where we posted all of these. We made 16 boxes, they all sold. We got some good feedback, but we thought we'd open up one, show you guys. So this one is a $625 box. And let's see what we got inside. I, all right, so let's see. One of the first pairs right here, we do have a older pair of cool gray 11s. Let's see. We left all of our price tags on here. They are kind of used, but you know, cool gray 11s, you could sell them for the low. Uh, let's see, we had them priced at 180. I think we valued them around like 150 for our customer who bought this one. So got about like 150 right here. I mean, obviously maybe you could try and, if you have good clientele, maybe you could sell them for 200. Uh, let's see. So we got one right here. Let's see what else we got, what else we got. We also gave them some used Michigan Dunks. We had these priced at 260, probably for them, maybe closer to like 220 to 240. So what is that like 150, let's say like 350-ish right here with these two guys. And then we did have a no box pair of bread ones, but the only tough thing is that it is a size four and a half with no box. We had them priced at 250. I think we assumed like around 200. So we, what is that like two, four, 550 right there. And then last but not least, we got them a Jordan five box, white metallic fives. They are brand new, which is pretty cool. Um, I think it's missing one lace lock, which 
it is a little bit of a bummer. We had him priced at 340. Uh, realistically, I'd say closer to like three. So that's pretty much what they're getting in this box. We got th about $300, another two, that's five. Another two, that's like seven. And then like 150, so around like $850 worth of value. Obviously it it's comes and goes, like you can make a little bit more, you can make a little bit less, depending on you know how much you want to sell it for but we assume around 850 the box like i said was 625 so what do you think it's pretty good stuff i mean people slept on the other boxes too so you feel like that's good value though oh yeah definitely. i think anyone can make money on it it's just you just gotta put the work in you gotta have the clientele for it it's not gonna be easy but yeah yeah all right well let us know in the comments down below You couldn't do four. Can do four um, you want to do like a coin flip or four and four twenty? Mm -hmm. Okay. We'll yeah. Do you want to do coin flip or pull highest card? Uh, the pull highest card is fun. All right. Then. Cool. Shuffle. So pretty deck right there. Yeah. Nice little, nice little hype. Oh, you're the fine. You get credit. Oh, it's okay. I trust you. Do you want to pull first? Yeah, you pull. Alright. Two. Four twenty. Four twenty. <laughs> guys so we do have a pair of the travis scott sixes in the olive colorway just picked them up uh, they are pretty clean i'd give it like a solid nine out of ten for this guy original box and stuff like that and uh yeah we picked them up for 420 probably sell them for like around like five i don't know markets like at 620 for like a brand new pair right there uh, yeah just a nice little pickup Travis stuff like recently has been doing a little bit better. So I think enough time has passed after that whole like travesty, pun intended, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so uh, his stuff, especially his shoes move, uh, his clothes haven't really moved that much for us anymore, but you know, just interesting. It's just interesting to see how things play out. So but yeah. My name is Jordan, came from Pasadena. I had the Travis Lowe's, had to swing all the way over here to get the highs. All right. So we just got an order for one of our medium size gray hoodies. It says, blue ground on here. I'm gonna pack these up right now. Let's see. All right guys, so we're gonna go ahead and see what your favorite shoe is in the store. If you could pick one shoe in the store right now and take it home, it could be your size for free, what shoe would it be? Okay, for me, I would take the Union Forest, Desert Moss. These are super hard. The colorway is it. I like these. Yeah. Cool, cool. All right, what about you, Sebastian? Cool. I am also doing another Union shoe. I'm doing the Storm Blues and the Jordan 1s. I just think this colorway is really clean. I like this port. I like this pair more than the black toe pair. I just think the quality is really good on them. And I'll probably wear them every single day, given how expensive they are. I just think it's a really clean pair, so. Cool. Sir. Yeah. What's up, team? I came through Holy Ground to pick up a gift for my friend's birthday. Um, yeah. you know, he's always taking care of me, so I wanted to take care of him. 
So yeah, you guys go. All right, so yeah, uh, homie came through and traded some Alma Manure ones, uh, size eight right here. They kind of dipped a little bit in price recently, so uh, we gave them 300 store credit. It's not a bad one. Uh, a lot of people do like this shoe, so they do sell pretty well for us. Uh, and then he also traded a brand new pair of the Yeezy Bone 350s. Uh, like I said, they already, they just came out, so it's kind of like one of the newer colorways, a little bit more of like a cream off-white type of color, but overall super, super clean. Got them in a 10 and a half. And then he went ahead and took the Jordan 2 off-whites, which we just got uh, the black pair in a size nine and a half. And then we gave him a little bit of cash on top. My name is Benji. I got a big ski hat, holy round t-shirt, repping the brand, some wash jeans, and some Jordan ones. So today I got on a Lord's Gym tee. A lot of people said they like it. I, I love this tee. It is a vintage tee. Got a little nice hit on the back. Um, I got some cargo pants, and for Air Max Day, I'm wearing these Atmos Air Max One collabs. These things have shot up in price, but I'm glad someone came by the shop and sold it to me for a good deal. Cool. What's up guys? Sebastian here. We got another day at the shop. We're expecting it for it to be pretty busy. Hopefully a lot of shoes come by. Um, I think Andrew's going to be doing the bulk of the buying today. Chris too. I'm just going to be chilling in the back, hopefully taking some Instagram pictures, uh, getting everything up on the website. So check out for the website or come by and shop. Uh, hopefully we'll be getting a lot of shoes new up on the website too. You should. Sure. want to step in them and then lose a lot on them. Where'd you grab them from? From, uh, I don't know if it's called Prestige or they're in Covino. They kind of got to go by women only. You can just don't walk in with Oh, really? To shop or? Yeah. Oh, I ain't never heard of them. And then how you get an appointment there? Uh, you just DM them on Instagram. I don't really like the whole system. You don't? They be having good kicks over there? Yeah, they got, they got heat for them. I paid six of those. So, uh, to me, it's a little, it's even, it was even over stock edge. Like, mm. You said 360? Yeah, to me, that's, that's the, and you, put, you put those at 460 around the door. Did somebody come with a hang tag? I thought it did. Uh, if it did, it didn't, it didn't. They didn't throw it in there? Yeah, I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. I don't think it's not like that. Some fours do, some fours don't. Yeah. If it was the breads or something uh, like that, I would have kept them, but I still haven't found the used pair. You don't want to take the used pair from me? I've been, I've been thinking about that pair for a couple of months, but... I don't know. I think that's I don't a, that's a, break them in. really? Yeah, just something about putting on, it's like putting on a new pair of socks. That's it's true. Just, it's just no better feeling than a brand new pair of shoes. Yeah, 360 is cool. Let's so just grab these cool gray fours. Uh, bro always comes in here, he always sells to us and always cashes out. Uh, I picked this up, size 13, brand new for 360. Uh, I'm probably either gonna price it around like 480 or five, just depending on how it looks. On StockX sales are mixed between 480 and five, so we'll see. But 360 is a pretty good deal for some brand new cool gray fours. This is a good Jordan four right here, very slept on. Uh, bigger sizes definitely sought after. And bro's always cool. He always comes in, uh, chops it up. He always uh, gives us some good prices. All right, guys, so we got a nice little fit check right here. Wait, who's going to start? Benji. Hey, Benji the intern. Here, stand next to me and we can we can talk about your fit right here. I got the mic. I got my Vonda chat, um, Carhartt t-shirt, 
some Costco pants. Costco. And Nike Dunks. Hey, what's around the what's around the neck? Some chain. Oh, just a chain chain? Is that is that real uh stainless steel? Real, real stainless, stainless steel. Oh wow. I like the Costco pants the most. I have those. I have those. <laughs> I really have those. All right, who's up next? Worst to, worst to best, obviously. Oh, worst to best, sorry. Um, black and white dunks. Benzie shoe of the year. Uh, <laughs> Carhartt pants. Holy ground hoodie. And then Stussy Nike beanie. It is freezing cold outside today. <laughs> what's, what's your honest opinion about the hoodie? Now that you've worn it, washed it, no, it's a good hoodie. I really like it. It's really heavyweight. I love the I love the design. Honestly, Andrew hid this design from you guys, but thanks to me and Sebastian, the yeah, design we, yeah, got really released. Loki, we had to convince Andrew for this hoodie to come out because we liked it so much. And it wasn't even going to come out. It was just going to yeah. be for us. But All right. Thank goodness it came out. I'll I'll ask one more question at the end. All right, Sebastian. Let's... Hey, my fit today. I got the Outcast hat. Got this one at like a random flea market. This was a pretty good find. Shout out to Johnny the plug. Johnny. Got me this hoodie straight from 2004. Hey, don't forget the center swoosh right there, still yeah. right there. I think he said he had worn it once. So, and then I'm always wearing these pants, and I got the laser oranges on today, like the Lakers colorway on the SB. So, cool. Yes, All right, so saving the best for last. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, so today I am wearing a Essentials T. I think this is a little bit of an older one. Uh, it's, it's plain and simple, just gray, just a little cream hit. And then I got some uh, brown pants that I got from the homies over at Make Skate. I forget what this is, but they are actual like, like army style pants or something. So brown cargos, I just like it because you don't really see a lot of brown cargo pants. And then to match the cargo pants, I am wearing my Mocha 3s. Chris said that they're fire, right? Yeah. I, I just saw on private selection, they have a, they're coming out with a new one. There's the Neapolitans. I'd rather have the mochas yeah, though. Just... All right, but I do have one question for you guys because you guys have seen it. They don't know anything about it, but how hyped are you guys for the newest design that I've added into the collection? Yeah, that's a good just one. no heat is coming on the way. That's a good one. Yeah. Ooh, wow. That's a good follow. -up. I think it's our best that's a good yet. Follow -up. Best yet. Ooh. That's a good follow -up. Oh, I got. We're we're also in the works of possibly making some socks, but I'll show you guys the sock designs that that they're coming up with so but all right that's pretty much it for the fit check let us know down in the comments down below whose fit you like whose fit you want to roast no i'm just kidding be nice to us we're <laughs> we're just chilling on a normal day this is just our normal outfits it's not like we come prepared for this all the time can you do 450 uh the most i could do is 420 on it 430 i just be at 420 on it I just be at 420. Right? I'm already paying like twenty dollars more than I normally would. How much for the super size ten? I have the how much do you pay for this? Um I think right now we're just kind of right around yeah. retail. You did? Um because I think they dipped a little bit. Uh zebras. You said ten or ten and a half? Ten. Ten. Yeah, we just be at retail like two forty. They're like forty. Yeah, they're going for two seventy right now. Can you make it for thirty? I just have to be at 420. That'd be my most. Take it. Yeah? All right. Let me go grab some cash. All right, so we just got in a nice little haul. Uh, just picked up a Supreme Burberry hoodie. Uh, lightly used, which is kind of interesting. They just came out. I know that they're pretty popular. Um, picked that one up. We're probably going to sell that one. It's a size large, if anyone's asking. Uh, for about 330, 350, I think. Market's like around 450 uh, for a brand new pair. And then super crazy and super random, but we got a second pair in, Deadstock Cool Gray 4s. We don't ever really see the shoe in general, but the fact that we got two Deadstock pairs is pretty crazy. So pick these up, size 10 and a half. Um, you know, paid up a little bit on them, but I feel like it'll be a good shoe for us to move and it's a good shoe to have in the store. It's not one that you see too often anymore. And then lastly, we picked up two Yeezy Compacts. Not a shoe we normally would buy, um, I was initially just going to pass on them, but then, you know, he said, just make an offer. So, uh, paid kind of low on them, but you know, it just, it is what it is. Like, I don't know if you guys like this shoe. I think it looks really crazy and it's not my style. I know it looks different on foot, but still not my style. So we picked them up, but we're going to, 
probably sell them online because they're probably honestly not going to sell in the store for us. That's what I told the customer and it's because that's just honestly how I feel like the truth is. Last time we had a pair of these, they sat online and they sat in store for a while. So just trying to show you guys a little bit of our process here on taking our pictures. These are the pictures that you see on the website whenever you're buying these shoes. It is a little bit of a bittersweet moment for me. This is my pair right here. I traded up for a pair and had to get rid of some. So if you guys buy these, just know, hopefully it goes to a good home and you guys are taking care of them. And yeah, get these pictures up. We got a lot of shoes to take pictures of. So usually we try to do this pretty quick because we also have to take pictures of these on for our Instagram and make sure they're all uploaded on the website. So. I wanted to introduce someone new to our Holy Ground family. So this is Jay. So Jay's gonna be our new content creator. He's gonna be making all of our YouTube videos, some stuff for Instagram, kind of, you know, also a lot of creative thoughtfulness just in the whole general brand of Holy Ground. So welcome Jay, appreciate to have you. Thank you. And we just wanted to ask you a few questions so, uh, you know, our subscribers can get to know you a little bit better, but maybe like what's something that you're excited about with this new position? I love being around people and talking to them and, learn, and learning about new things. I do know about sneakers. I wouldn't call myself a sneaker head, but I do know about shoes and watch videos about them. So I'm looking forward to learning more and learning more about reselling and trading and all that stuff. I don't know anything about that. Yeah. yeah. And then how long have you been doing like videos and stuff for? I've been doing photo and video for about 11, the past 11 years professionally. Dang, nice. And maybe one last question. So far, what would be your favorite like sneaker silhouette? I know you're not much of a sneaker head, but from what you do know or have seen, what would you say is like maybe your favorite sneaker? Even though I might not be able to wear, I like ones, even though they hurt my feet when I tried them on, and 13s, I like those. 13s are super comfy. Yeah. Don't sleep on 13s, guys. They're good. <laughs> But yeah, so we just wanted to welcome Jay. Appreciate to have him on board. So hopefully whenever you guys see the videos or maybe you might hear his voice in the background once in a while, uh, that's, that's who's behind the camera. Cool. Let's see what we got here today. We got, dang, look, some pigeon, but it's a size eight. That's a tough size. That's the only thing. What about even like these Air Maxes, size eight? This is a good Air Max. It's called Obsidian. Oh, can you help him out? Mm -hmm. What's going on, man? How many pairs do you bring? That's it. Oh, that's it? Okay, cool. Chicago's. letting go of a lot of stuff or oh yeah I saw that receipt in there. Yeah just a little storage. Cool. Is everything uh everything supposed to be yeah. brand new? Cool. We're not buying like too too heavy so I'd probably just be a little bit more selective in everything that we're taking yeah, that's in. Another pair of Chicago's? Oh, that's yeah, black toad, yeah. Mm. I'm trying to figure out what I want to take. Because it is good stuff. Um, let me see. 
And then did you have prices in mind for everything? Uh, we'll go by one by one. Yeah, that's cool. Just tell me what you want. What you don't want, we can put it aside first. Yeah, I, for sure, these two I'm gonna hold off on. Okay. Um, these ones I'm kind of interested in. I just have to see what the price is for them. Okay. Yeah, it's just like eight, eight and a half is kind of like a tougher size for us to move mm -hmm. sometimes. Um, but we can start with like the shadows. Eight. Yeah, do you know how much you're looking for on these? Probably five. Five. Um, I was closer to like around like 420 on them, to be honest. You take 450? Um, if you check all the recent sales, they're all over five. Mm -hmm. 550, 545. I get you. Um, I'd be at, I could meet you at 440 if you want. All right, let's go. Yeah. You've just been collecting for a while. Yeah, both of these I have doubles. So oh, okay. I'll rock one and stock one yeah. before. So <laughs> it's taking up too much space. I'd probably just be around like payout for sell it now, be at 470. That's cool. Classic. Yeah, that's cool. 480 off this one. Yeah. I know you guys can even make your cut too. Yeah. That's cool. You said, uh, sorry, what would you just say? 13. 13? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, so 13. I'd be at like 540 on this one. 540? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And let me just add this all up. Let's see where we're at. So 540, 13, 480, 440, and then another 440. So 3,200. Cool. Do you have your ID on you? I just gotta write you a check for this guy. Yeah, we got, we got a few little more pickups from today. So uh, first off, we did pick up some Shadow Ones 2016, I believe. Is it 26? 2017, right? Yeah. No, 2018. 2017. Oh, I get them all mixed up now. Oh man, I'm getting, I get mixed up all the time. So uh, yeah, we just picked these up. Size eight, brand new. Shadows do pretty well for us. Uh, it's a good classic colorway and the leather on this shoe is actually pretty good. So I like, I like this pickup. So. We got the White Cement 4, personally my favorite sneaker of all time. I think I could confidently say that. I just got rid of my pair in hopes of finding a pair as clean as this one. Mine was all yellowed on the netting. I think we picked up this one at a good good price too. At least it looks like Andrew did the deal. I was just kind of just chilling in the back. Those yeah. shot up though. Yeah, like, keep going up I think StockX has them at like almost 700. Dang, really? For a size 8. It's crazy. I have to trade for my pair. I don't know if I can copy <laughs> All right, we also copped uh, a good clean pair of the off-white fours. Obviously, um, these have shot up in price too. Uh, you know, we picked them up for pretty good price. DS, he said he hit these for retail, so no matter what I paid him, he was on the come up for this one, so it's cool. But Chris said to pass on this one, right? Chris said to not buy this. I think it's a good pair to have in store. I think people always want them. Yeah, we don't, we don't have any in store right now, so that's why I figured, you know, <laughs> he's smacking his lips. Yeah, yeah, he's like <laughs> smacking his lips. Alright, and then we got the Bread 4, another really clean colorway. Personally, I don't think it's as cool as the White Cement 4, but it's black and red, so people love it. And how much are these going for now? Uh, I believe those are hitting like 550, 600. Yeah. 
Last but not least, we did pick up some SB Pigeons. This is the black pair, uh, you know, with SBs kind of coming back in the mix and being back in the mix, I feel like they, um, I don't know, they have a good place in people's hearts. Like they're gonna be looking for pairs like this. I mean, obviously this is a tougher size, it's an eight, but pink box, it's cool that they brought that back. It almost looked fake to me because all the pink boxes that we get, they're all the faded like, and, uh, like it has like that lighter. yeah, this is like a, like pink pink, but I forgot like this was a re-release yeah. pair kind of, or not re-release, but remix, remix, yeah. But it's cool. I like that you can see like the footprint on like the insoles and stuff like that. But, and it's like the old school type of insole that they use, but uh, it's a cool one. I like it. That's the, the same insole from like the gold box, I think. Mm. So, but yeah, picked him up. He had a couple other good stuff in there, but it was just stuff that we felt like, you know, we're not trying to buy, we have a lot of inventory right now. So make sure to shop at shopholyground.com. But we just have a lot of inventory just because, um, you know, it's been kind of slow on the sneaker market. And when the sneaker market's kind of slower, I feel like a lot of people are trying to sell a lot because they want some kind of action. And so for us, you know, it's cool that we get a lot of different pairs in. And I like that about the shop, you know, um, but right now we have a lot of inventory, so we're not trying to buy too, too much. He had Chicago's, Black Toes, some other good stuff, but I was just like, ah, let me hold off because I feel like in that eight, eight and a half size, the higher, higher ticket items like Chicago's, it was kind of like a weird market too. Like StockX was like 25, lowest ask was like 15, or lowest or highest bid was 15. Yeah, I just feel like everyone's waiting for it's the like restock. The restock so. or the reimagined pair coming. Yeah, but the prices haven't dropped yet for regular Chicago's, but also, I'm it's sure like who's willing to pay that that's true too. Like sure. I'm sure when that shoe drops, like Chicago's, even if it's limited something, like it'll probably go for like, I would say it's going to settle around like $500, right? But then you'd rather spend $500 on that Chicago pair than spending 2,200 on the 2015 pair. At least me personally, that's how I feel. I know shape, quality, all that stuff's different, but it's still, I don't know. Yeah. So anyways, like I said, we picked up a few pairs pretty good day. Yeah. Hey Chris, can you tell me why this shoe cost $4,500? All right, let me, you think you could take a guess as to why? Like some celebrity was seen wearing it? No, no. no. Uh, there's not like, is there like a fragment logo hidden under somewhere? No fragment, no friends and family, nah, nothing like that. Um, was it like limited to a smaller number or something like? Yeah, this shoe was super limited. This one and then the other colorway, which is like a peaches orange colorway on the back hit. Um, this one was released like the week of Art Basel in Miami. And I think Jordan Brand did like a shock drop of, I think it was a yacht party or something on a yacht where you had to get an invite and they dropped limited amounts of pairs of this Igloo colorway and then the other colorway as well. And like, I mean, you never see any pairs like this. And this one's VNDS with the box, everything, uh, 4,500 bucks. That's low key a steal, especially for this size, nine and a half. Yeah, brand new pairs are hitting $6,000 now on this pair. So we got this one up for 45. But yeah, this one's super limited. This is not a Travis Scott, not a Fragment, but just a normal colorway that is just super limited and hard to get. All right, well, I bought tacos for everyone, but uh, Chris is too good for us. Uh, he said his palate is too good because instead of tacos, he'd rather have sushi, so I don't know. It is what it is. <laughs> And also, this is how Chris is going to start greeting customers, helping them out with pricing, and... I don't know how much it was. Oh yeah, we got an absolute steal on this nice little, uh, what would you call this? Like a camper chair? This is almost, yeah, it's like a beach chair almost. I know, it's more like a beach chair. We got it for free. You know how it is. We're sponsored by Uline. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Shout out to Andrew for the tacos today. We got Al Pastor tacos, some carne asada tacos from the local spot around here called Al Pastor. Just opened up. Yeah, just opened up. So check them out if you're in the outdoor area. No, no, should they check them out though? That's that's the that's on you. That's the Me point. Me personally, I'm saying I'm saying I'm I'm gonna give it a 6.5 out of 10. Unfortunately, 
Yeah, so do you want people to go to a 6.5 ounce? Y'all go try it out. <laughs> I'm like authentic. I, I'm really picky with my tacos. Tortilla's really good, meat's really good, but. It was 350 a taco. Yeah, 350 a taco. Just opened up. They got overhead. Can't be complaining about our prices. And they got tacos at $4 a piece, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, just shipping out some packages. Our post office guy's here, so we want to make sure we can get them out to him so that way we don't have to go drive out and drop off all the packages that we do have. So um, that's why we're kind of all working on it together, rushing out. Um, but yeah, we, we found out that we had another five shipping labels to ship out. So, you know, we got a good little haul going out this weekend. So that's good. Thank you for ordering with us. You can always check it out again, shopholyground.com. <laughs> Last order going out today, the Lakers EMB Dunk High, uh, size nine and a half. We threw it up for a hundred bucks. I think that's a pretty good deal on this shoe. A uh, hundred bucks for any shoe is a pretty good deal. Okay. I, you still, you can still get uh, black on black. Mm -hmm. Can I get, can you grab me two size 10s? Size 10s. Yeah, I have a customer who asked for them. I was like, I know a guy. Low top, right, right, low yeah, top. Yeah, yeah, low top, two size 10s. Yeah, for sure. That's the holy ground, man, you know what I'm saying? The bitch resale, resale store on the top of man. Don't miss out. <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, we say 11, 11 half and two size 10 black. Correct. What's up, guys? Welcome to our new segment, Holy Ground High Shelf, where we showcase some of the pairs we have on our high shelves. First pair we got are the Jordan 11 Pinnacles. We have a pre-owned pair for $450. Other pair. Another pair we have are the Jordan 11 Legend Blues Highs from 2001. Jordan 13 Breads from 04, brand new for $440. And we got both pairs of He Got Games and Reverse He Got Games. The He Got Games we have it for $200 pre-owned and the Reverse for $400 brand new. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. We did a lot of buying, a lot of wheeling and dealing, and that's what we love to do here at the shop. And so, you know, appreciate everyone coming out for our Saturday steals. Appreciate everyone coming out just on a regular day. Uh, thank you for everything that you guys are doing, even just watching, supporting. So if you can like this video, we greatly appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe and comment down below, whether if it's about our fit checks, your favorite part of the video, or how you guys like this new style of video. Please let us know you guys met Jay and saw him. He's our new content creator, so it's always good to have him around now. So let us know. We're trying to up the quality because we want to put out good content for you guys. And yeah, stay tuned. We got a lot of good stuff coming, new videos, new merch, all that kind of good stuff. So with all that being said, stay holy, stay blessed. We'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.